Hey folks, so it's uh, Jeep video number 39 and I'm going to install the track bar again. I uh, went ahead and removed the old bushings. They were really crusty so they went away. Um, I painted these with some rattle can magic and um, I picked up some uh, bushings. I don't remember, if, I think these might have been Amazon. Um, they weren't that expensive. They're Moog parts. Uh, part number is K7352, just in case you are shopping. And uh, I will put a link in the description because I really do think these came from Amazon. So, um, you know, these are blue. Color of the rubber doesn't really matter. Uh, one of the things that's nice is they. Oh, well, okay, they are supposed to open, but these are actually really tough. So they don't open as nicely as I would like. Um, the other ones would just fold over. These barely can open. So, uh, gosh, I hope they're not polyurethane. Hmm. Wow. I made a conscious decision not to use polyurethane bushings on my Jeep because they're very, very hard and they will just simply rattle the hell out of me and I don't like that. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can throw everything on the ground. Um, there we go. That's approximately right. And we'll throw everything on the ground before we're done. I don't think this is the last time I'm going to do this, but I think this thing is bent, but I don't think it does much beyond, I don't think it matters if it's bent or not, so I decided to put it back in. And this will be substantially easier with it all loose. Everybody wants to fucking text me while I'm in the middle of something. Why is it always like that? So there's one. There's the second one. All right, let me uh, find the bolts. Okay, so I labeled the bolts and put them all in a bag where I could find them and that made them easy to find months later when it was time to put this thing back together. So I'm going to put them all into a tray here. And uh, the torque values are 45 foot pounds uh, for the retainers and the uppers. Uh, I think this is going to get done like this. These are 15 millimeter uh, heads.
So I appear to need another washer like this. Let me go see what I can find. Okay, so I found something that will do the trick. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this together, or at least I want to get everything roughly installed before I um, start tightening anything down. So I'm going to use impact gun just to snug these. didn't sound good. God damn it. Come on, motherfucker. torque wrench and uh, torque these down. I'll be right back. And these are uh, 15, I'm sorry, 45 foot pounds is what the factory service manual calls for, so that's what we're going to bring them to.
Okay, so now we're going to do this one. And it needs a longer socket, so let me get that. Which is not the right socket. All right, we're back. All right, apparently it was in the wrong spot. Oh, it's a 17 millimeter out of 15. Well, that'll do it. No big deal. Just had to switch to the 3 8 because that's what I have handy. I need to I need to adjust that it's gonna take me a minute to figure out what Jeep is calling these things so I'll be right back I think it's still 45, so I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to tighten it to. As before, I'm going to use the impact to snug it. But I need to create some working space, so I'm going to turn the wheel. Now I just gotta figure out where I set my uh, torque wrenches. Well, there's a little one. It's 19. Let me see if I have a 19 and 3 eighths. I do. All right, so we'll just keep this as simple as possible. Eh, 
And then I'm going to make sure these are torqued appropriately as well. I'll turn it the other way. Feel torqued. compressing. All right, there we go. So that completes the installation of the sway bar. And again, I think the sway bar is probably a little bend in it, but I think it'll work just fine. Um, so I hope this is helpful for somebody that has to mess with this. Um, these are supposed to be 75. I'm going to go ahead and check the torque on those because I just don't have I don't have a good feeling that they're set properly. I'm going to double check my torque real quick. 75 foot pounds, so we're right on the money. It is not to spec. Oh, it's not even close. probably not set right either. So this is going to be a Torx bit, not my first choice for, for setting uh, Torx. So this is a T50 and it's probably a T55. Let me see if I've got that. I, might, I have another set of these. No, nope, those are sockets.
too much play. I guess one of the things I could do is just see what it feels like. No, that doesn't feel like it's moved. Yeah, I'm going to call that okay. So, all right, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. And, uh, you know, it goes to show you should check every torque setting on every fastener when you're rebuilding a vehicle. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments.